you poor, sick and dumb, unto death become numb. Where the soul go? Educated don't know, and the readers won't show the way. Changing things on our own, we're not in this alone. Science coming.
and I have not asked you to sit down. You look so beautiful. And I don't want you to sit down. <laughs> When you are a Christian believer, you used to say that when you get to heaven, you will not go sit down. And I'm going to say to you, I thank you for receiving me with such great honor. Thank you, David. And that you may now be seated. Thank you, David. Thank you, for Oh, please. Thank you for And I'm going to take Yes, sir. I'm going to turn the uh, meeting over to the secretary. He has lots to tell him. And so he's going to address you and get busy and tell you what we must do, what must now be done after the coming of God. I turn you over to the secretary. Thank you. As I say unto you, in the name of Allah, As-salamu alaykum. Sisters, I would like to just read to you a list of some of the enterprises of the nation of Islam. You know, this nation that they talk about that operates mom and pop shops. We'll, we'll show you exactly what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is truly doing. Salam restaurants, the Muslim import stores, the Muslim fish house, the Shabazz grocery store. The Shabazz Bakery and Coffee Shop. Temple Number no. 2 Clothing Store and Office Building. The new sales and office building on 78th Street. The Guarantee Bank and Trust Company. Progressive Land Development. Good Foods Incorporated, which is meat, produce, and eggs. Chicago Land Packers, a national trucking system, an aviation department at Gary, Indiana, Muhammad Street newspaper plant, which is a, a coal storage and warehouse, over 200 apartment units, not to speak of the single family dwellings that he has put his followers in, farms in Michigan, farms in Georgia, farms in Alabama. Over 150 temples in North America, Bermuda, Jamaica, and Honduras. Over 46 Muhammad Universities of Islam. In the planning stage, a 500-bed hospital. A new Islamic university. The Temple Number no. 2 renovations and the new university at the Temple at, at uh, Temple Number no. 2 on Stony Island Avenue. The College Grove Redevelopment Plan, which runs from 78th Street to 87th Street on the east side of Chicago, uh, east side of Cottage Road. In the design stage, the Phoenix, uh, Arizona Development Proposal, which is also in the design stage. 
Salam Snack Shop, your supermarket, Shabazz Bakers, Shabazz Barbershop, Shabazz Restaurant, Capital Cleaners, National Children's Factory, National Fish Factory, and again, Residential Homes. This is what our leader and teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, is leading us to. Brothers and sisters, I know what we are all awaiting, and that is the message from our leader and teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So in closing, I would like to say just this, that the followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad have distributed in the health of North America during this past year over 34 million Muhammad Speaks newspapers. Brothers and sisters, I thank you very much for your time and your attention. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Reality Temples of Peace on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this uh, ministry. I am known here on the internet. Some of y'all still call the World Wide Web. I am known as the mighty, 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 mm. Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your host, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would also like to introduce you today, uh, my beautiful wife. Uh, she is known as one of the mighty voices also. She is called uh, Aliyah Muhammad Allah Ibn Ra. Thank you, my beautiful wife, for joining me on this particular video. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Hello, everyone. And uh, I would just like to speak with us. You saw an excerpt of some of the things that we are planning to do this February of next year, and I would just like to um, just speak on that just a second, and after I present and say what I need to say, I would like to further bring this conversation to a conclusion with uh, my wife, with what she wants to say, as well as bringing us more information about this great event that will be held uh, February 20th to the 23rd in St. Louis, Missouri. I would like to say this to us. It has been almost 500 years since the black man and woman, we are the descendants of slaves born in America, that we have been in this place called the United States of America. And after all these years, the hard work, the sacrifice. We have died for this country, this nation. We have toiled and we pay our taxes and truly we have become its best citizens and have been here as long as the Caucasian people themselves. But the question that I raise is what really after 500 years, what have we gained? How do we benefit? So, I would like to say to those of us who call what I may present as hate speech, mm -hmm. it is not about hate. Hate is a waste of time. But sometimes, in your life as an adult, and I use this as a simple and quick example. As we mature in our household and we love our parents, and I'm not, I want to make this clear, calling the Caucasian people our parents, but when you are in the house of your parents, 
sooner or later, and this is also seen in the animal kingdom, the bird must leave the nest because that animal matures. When an animal does not leave the nest, when it refuses to, to leave the den or wherever it is raised, this is a sign or a lack of maturity. So after being here in this nation for over 500 years, denied equal citizenship, mm -hmm. doing everything that is, is expected of a citizen, but we're not getting the privileges or the rights of a citizen. So this, so this means if we're not getting the rights and the privileges of citizenship as an adult person, this should make you want to leave that situation. Those who do not want to leave uh, a situation such as this, they are considered mentally impaired. So the black man and woman for over 500 years, because somebody tells you that you hate you don't want to accept your responsibility as an adult and leave an abusive relationship. And that's what we have faced for 500 years, going on 500 years. An adult person, and many of y'all call yourselves adults, we are also responsible for the future of our children. How can you be a responsible adult and allow our children to continue and inherit this wretched condition that we find ourselves in for 500 years, not for 50 years, not for 50 days, but for 500 years. And you wonder why our babies don't respect us. You wonder why our people are in, in the condition that they are in. As an adult person, we must determine our own destiny as an adult person. You cannot allow a people, whether it is Caucasian persons or others, to determine your destiny. We must become the ones who drive this car and determine where we want to go, how we want to go, determine our destiny. An adult person shows independence. And when you become an independent person, that brings us pride. I remember growing up as a young person, there was nothing better than my going out into the world and earning the money to purchase my own car. Of course, mama's car might be better, father's car might be better, or grandmother's car. But when you work and you strive and you get something on your own, this is mine. It was not given to me by mother or father or grandmother. This is mine. There's nothing more prideful than that. And this is something that the black man and woman in America, we lack. We lack pride. And this is the reason why our people suffer, because there's nothing to look at with pride. And the little things that we do get others, they take the credit for these things. For example, rap music. We know for a fact that rap music was born up out of the ghetto, so-called ghetto of New York City. But yet and still, look at all those trying to claim and, and they... And they benefit from rap music. We don't benefit nothing in ourselves. And as long as we are living in a country that cares not nothing for us, the only thing we can end up being done to us is exploited. We must have pride. And our people suffer due to lack of pride. There, there's nothing that you can point that is ours that you can show your babies. Except some of y'all point to the pyramid. And some of y'all point to what happened in Timbuktu. But that's not something that you and I built with our own hands. It is wonderful that we are related to people that built the great pyramids and, and the great knowledge that is the warehouse in Timbuktu. That is beautiful and wonderful things. But there's nothing like what you do with your own hands. And that's what our babies are, what our children that's what our people need to see, what we build with our own hands, without the help of others, especially the enemy that caused us to be in the condition that we've been in for the last 500 years. So myself and my wife and all those who support this ministry, we reach out and we ask of you 
for your help. We ask of you for your donation to this great effort, this great work that without a doubt that can change the reality of black people in this nation. But I want to say too, it's not about money. Of course, as you know, we all need money to get to do different things. However, as an adult person, we have a responsibility to become hands on, not just sit back and say, look what Talik is doing. Look what him and his wife is doing. Look what the reality temples of peace on earth is doing. No, it is what we are doing. So it's not, it's more about, it's more than just about a donation. It's about what are you going to do hands on to bring forth a new reality, not only for yourself, but for our babies. Don't you love our children? These gangsters and these thugs and these ratchets and all these people that y'all talk about day in and day out. Do you know that they would change overnight if they saw something that they could call their own, something that they could belong to? They can belong to this reality, temples of peace on earth, a kingdom that we build with our own hands. The knowledge is here. The knowledge has always been here. It is our application and our understanding of that knowledge. So there's no need to sit around and read books like some of y'all do. Book a bomb, book. So y'all been reading books. But what is it getting you? The knowledge has already been here. It already, as my wife said, been shown and proved. The only thing we have to do is learn what it was and apply it ourselves. Y'all are history buffs. Learn the lessons from where they failed, where they faulted. Understand that error so that we can walk straight. And we pass that knowledge on to our children and we can only get become stronger. It just reminds me of that old picture of the, the caveman. He's on his all fours, but as he walks forward, he begins to raise himself up and stand up. So we're, we're beginning from a, an, a low position. But as we begin to walk, we begin to rise up and rise up. So it's more than about your donation. It's about your participation in something that can change the reality of black people. In fact, change this world and destroy this civilization. That has been plaguing the so-called human being for the last uh, thousands of years. We can do it. It's our job. That's why we were formed in the wounds of this devil nation. You don't understand what I'm saying. But if you get to work. If you participate. That's right. You will see just like I see. You will see like my wife and many others see. Yes. We must get beyond ego. This is ours. The reality temple is ours. My wife would tell you when she begins to talk that this belongs to us. This is not about Talik even Ra. I am so honored that I would become the tool used to bring bring it forth or make it manifest. But as I've said to you before, be within the last years, it has never belonged to me. Because I'm a nobody. I don't know nothing. But like I said, the knowledge has always been here. And it was destroyed. Now it rises slowly to the top again. And as y'all say in religion, God used whom he pleases. Y'all looking for these special people. And you think they're supposed to be a special way. But y'all say yourself that God uses whom he pleases. It could be the bum on the street. It could be almost anybody. Because God is powerful. God can use whom he, he, or her. Y'all been listening to me. Her pleases. So, I ask of you your help. Not only your donation. Some of y'all say, well, I, Brother Tali, I don't, I don't have no money. I really would like to. You have Facebook. You have YouTube. Make a video. Promote what we're trying, not trying, what we're doing here. Use your Facebook. Use your YouTube. You have my permission to make a flyer. Make a cheap flyer and pass them out on your job or in your neighborhood. Let the people know. So it's not always about money. Participation and helping. Don't you want to be part of this, this great 
Ah, wow, wow. Man, if only I could. Whoo! You are witnessing the birth of a nation. That's what you're witnessing. Your nation. You determine the law. You make the government. You create the educational system. Systems of media and entertainment and law, medicine. This is yours. And we have the talent. Let me let me just spend just a few more minutes. I'm gonna give this to my wife because it's it's just birth. Don't you know? Even before a baby is born, everything the baby needs already exists. We are forming a nation. We are coming to birth. Don't you know, and you may not realize, everything that we want, it already exists. We just don't know how to suckle the breast. The reality is temple. This great meeting that we are planning for February, where all these great minds come together. You are a great mind. Don't say that you don't know nothing. You have nothing to offer. Yes, you do. Because in the building of a nation, you need from the minute to the complex. You need it all. Believe me, we need it all. So don't down yourself like you're not smart. Don't down yourself like you don't have, that you're not a resource. Every black man and woman and child in this country is a resource and you're needed. This is yours. This is ours. You will never hear me from this rostrum talk about Talit do this and Talit do that. This is a we thing. This is a love thing. See? That's what it's about. So this meeting that we are forming in February it is great minds, and your mind too. We come together so that we can learn how to suckle the breast, move the breast so it can release its milk to us. Because everything that we need, you don't have to force feed. There are those who are trying to bring forth great wisdom and knowledge and understanding. <laughs> it's been here, already made manifest. The only thing we have to learn how to do is how to suckle from the breast. How to get that milk to flowing. It's been here all the time waiting for you. The only thing we have to do is find how to suckle that breast. Now, a slave can only suckle from that or feed from the scraps that their master gives them. And when you are a slave, like we are in this nation, whether you like it or not, whether you scream black power or not, we are slaves. So being a slave, a slave is limited and can only feed off the crumbs of the master's table. So since that's the only nourishment that you get, you can only climb so high. We've been here 500 years. How far have you climbed after 500 years. You should be sick of it. You should be sick of, of racial profiling. Housing discrimination. The N word. And all these different things. All this unnecessary stress. Living with a people that you know. Don't love you. So why don't you come together. With those who have learned. How to love one another. We don't have to agree 1000%. That's not necessary, but we do know enough to form a common goal, a common purpose, and bring forth a, a, a foundation and policies and procedures and things so that we can create this reality for ourselves outside of all these others. Mm -hmm. You don't know how great you are. They know. That's why the black man and woman in America, that's why we are hated so much, because they understand. They know who we are. We don't know who we are because we concentrate on our negative images, being a ratchet or a thug or lazy. And a, those things, this image are created by our enemies to keep us from looking at our full potential. A slave lives only for the benefit 
of his or her master. Mm. I'm not your slave. Mm, My wife is not a slave. And brothers and sisters, I would advise and suggest to us, let us stop raising slaves. All these beautiful children that y'all are bringing into the world. Don't you want a better future for them? They are not slaves. I watched these pictures of these cute and intelligent little black boys and little black girls. They deserve better than what we are experiencing right now. Somebody has to stand up and say something. Somebody has to do something. There are those prior to myself that claim they stand for black people. More money than I've ever had. More celerity than I've ever had. They've been around 30 years, maybe five years, whatever, but they, they get the money, they get the influence. What have they done for you lately? They have not done anything. I love you. I've loved you. I've loved us ever since I was a little boy, ever since I was taught and heard or rather read the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I told y'all that through all my videos, and you see his images. He's my spiritual father. I'm not going to deny. He's the one that gave me and made me want to love black. At a time when black was hated. And I'm not going to give up on that now. I'm not ashamed of my affiliation with that man called the messenger of Allah. I can't do that. You saw prior to my coming to this video an excerpt of Savior's Day 1974. There is no black organization that can match what you heard from, night, from Savior's Day 1974. Nobody in history done what the Nation of Islam have done for us. Under the leadership, under the leadership of Messenger Elijah Muhammad. This is not this temple is not a religious organization, and whether some of y'all don't know it or not, the Nation of Islam was not a religious organization. It was a nation. It was using religion as a catalyst to wean the people from religion to build a nation. And that nation was destroyed, and what you see of as the Nation of Islam has been desecrated and made mockery of. And so now, what you see as this reality's temple of peace on earth, you see it coming up from the womb again because that which is dead cannot rise. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that once you're dead, that's it. that's it. However, the same womb that caused the birth of the first manifestation, now it comes back forth again. And it's not nothing spooky or anything because Allah used whom he pleases. So with that said, up you mighty nation, you can accomplish what you will. It is us. We need to stop falling for these tricks of interracial, multicultural. These people don't care nothing about us. That's quite clear. So don't bring that nonsense to me. This is about you, black man and woman. Don't you want something that you can call your own? These Caucasians, there are many things in this country that Caucasian people call their own. You can, you and I cannot make a claim, even as Americans, because we know we didn't have nothing to do with it. Chances are our people were slaves. Right. They might have built it. Mm -hmm. You should want something to call your own. And that's all this is about. has nothing to do with hate. It's about being a responsible adult. And looking out for the best interest of your children. The best interest of your children is not being a slave trying to please other people, whether it's Caucasians or anybody else on this planet. You have the right to happiness. So does your baby. And with that said, I went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but with that said, to bring this uh, video to its conclusion and to bring you uh, the, de the details of this great gathering of minds, February the 20th to the 23rd in St. Louis, Missouri, I would like to introduce to you 
my wife, the sister and minister, Aliyah Muhammad Allah Ibn Ra. Thank, Thank you. Well. Thank you. Uh, just to um, piggyback on some of the things that my husband said, uh, we're not trying to invent the wheel. The wheel has already been invented. What we need to do is get the wheel rolling. As my, my husband alluded to, the Nation of Islam was never a religious organization. It was a catalyst to start a nation within a nation in America. And as we have showed and showed and proved, that the nation of Islam was just that a nation. Nations have their own flag. Nations have their own way of living. Nations have their own way yes. of dressing. Nations have every department that in which one would need to survive. And we had all that. Me and my husband have deep roots in the nation. I, we have family members that are deep rooted in the nation when the messenger was alive and even until today. We understand the time and we have been blessed to understand what is needed. We're not able to do it by ourselves and we don't want to do yes. it by ourselves because it's not an I thing. Yes. We have we both realize and we have shared amongst ourselves that we could be perfectly content living the way we are because we are self sufficient. We have the things that we need. We find joy and peace with one another as well as we did before we even met and got married. However, it is not about that. That's like living in your ivory tower and not even being concerned with what's going on around yes. you. That is not what this is about. We have a long journey in America. And who created this America that mm. we are living in? Slaves. Slaves. Slaves who had no education. They had no money. They had no sense of value. And they had really no sense of direction. They went where the slave master told them to go. But yet they built America for this white man, for our open enemy, which we are lavishing in today, the creation of slaves. So you mean with all the intelligence we have today, all the education, mm. and all of the resources, mm. we can't do something for ourselves yes. again? Yes. Out of Like a phoenix rising out of the ashes, we must do it today. There is no other alternative. And so with that said, we are developing a gathering, a commemoration to our Savior Day. Okay? And we're coming together, meeting in St. Louis, so that we can come together as great heads of state. Yes. With great minds, with vision, to put together an agenda that will come past all others, all this liberation, talk, all these ministers out here, all of these black power movements, all of these entities that say they are about higher learning and mm. knowledge and wisdom and understanding, what has it built? Can you look to anything tangible and say, that's, that's, that's something I can be proud of, like my husband said. No, you cannot. Now, before it's 1975, in every major city in America, you could look around and see black people doing something for itself. Mm. Black men showed that his head was up. Mm. But now today... It is worse than it ever was. Yes. Worse than it even for our slave, ex-slave parents. Mm. Because immorality has heightened. Um, you know, this I don't care. Attitude has heightened. And the fact that we don't, we show less love for one another and concern than what our ex-slave parents did. And what our mothers and fathers, mothers and fathers did back in the 20s and the 30s. At least there was some camaraderie between them. They cared about each other's children. And with what little they had, they tried to help one another. So today we must help ourselves. Yes. How are we going to help ourselves? Yes. Not just by opening up a business. Mm -hmm. A business is not going to help the whole nation. That's right. Not just by having a temple here or a church there. We need to come together, as I shared, as heads of states, and come up with a plan of action. So my husband and his ministry is calling for the constituents, his, his subscriber, Facebook friends, YouTube friends, as well as my own circle of friends and associates, 
to come to want to come together and meet us in St. Louis. Yes. And when we get to St. Louis, we uh -huh. already have blocked off rooms. We have already received very great discounted rates. Yes. A single person can come and enjoy the festivities of this moment, of this great event, for $100. And, and you cannot beat that. Bring a friend. Bring your family. Mm. The more, the merrier. The more, the less costly. Yes. So uh -huh. uh, we are going to begin to keep, we're going to keep this information out there. Um, the numbers are going to be on the the YouTube and the Facebook for you to call and get registered and get your reservations. Yeah. Okay. Um, the numbers my husband is going to put on at the bottom of the video. Many of his subscribers and friends that have been warring with him for the last five years know the numbers. Call the Reality Temples of Peace on Earth and get involved in building your kingdom. Yes. That's that's. This is what time it is. If we don't do this, then we deserve to remain slaves. Mm. And I guarantee you, our children will be slaves within the next hundred years again. Because this, this, this enemy cares nothing for us. Yeah. He only cares for himself. And rightfully, mm. I'm not mad at them because they do for self. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at the white men because they love themselves. And everything they do is for their best interest. What about us. Yes. Do we not have the same inalienable rights, being that we were born, came through the womb mm. of our parents, to come on this planet and have the same right to the pursuit of happiness? Yes. I say yes. I say yes. But how can we be happy when we have nothing? How can we be happy when we look around and see our people in destitute and poverty? Even if you're doing okay, as we have said, so what? Mm. What about your people? Mm -hmm. What about your friends? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, so like white people, even if they own different classes, different levels, different economic levels, they care about the whole because everything they do is for their benefit. Messenger Muhammad said, look at this white man, study him. He didn't say be friends with him. Mm -hmm. He didn't say be like them. Mm -hmm. He said study them. Why? To see the dynamics of the math that they were using. To be successful. We created the math. Can we not use the math to help ourselves? I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. I do too. And so, you know, for all the naysayers and all the rest of us out here, we have no time for that. Yes. You either want to be part of the solution or you're part, part of, of the, the problem. problem. We have been blessed to find love, peace, and happiness, and we're moving on. Many of you people know my husband for years. You know he has been a very loud voice on this voice, on this YouTube and Facebook, speaking for awareness, knowledge, and wisdom for our people to awaken to the time and what must be done. Yes. And I likewise have been doing the same thing for many, many years. No, we are self-made in as much as the gods, the power, the force, our circumstances, but greater than that. The teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad have been embedded in us so much mm. that our understanding has brought us to this day. Yes. Nothing else. No one will ever take me away from Master Muhammad and the Messenger. But I know that it's not conducive to us to just sit up and talk about these men. Mm. They want to see us get up and do something. Or they wanted us to get up and do something. And even though they may not see it, they they expect it because they know what they left. Supreme Wisdom says we can do this without little effort. Mm. Little effort. But yet, it seems though it's a hard task. And a lot are betting on us not doing anything. Yes. I say no. Yes. I say no. I say no. That's right. So, meet us in St. Louis. February the 21st through the 23rd. We have great rates, group rates for you. As I shared, a single person can do this event for $100. That is nothing. Some of you brothers spend $100 on, on a pair of gym shoes. Mm. Some of you sisters spend $100 on your hair and on your nails. Why not do something for yourself? Why not do something for yourself? Yes. We will be there. 
and many others will be there. Yes. Now we're just putting it out there for everyone who is willing and ready to build for themselves, to start moving in the direction of independence, start moving in the direction, though it may be a humble beginning. Everything in life starts at a humble beginning, but it can become something great if you continue and be be consistent. And today, I dare say, brothers and sisters, we don't have a choice. Yes. We must be consistent today or we will be lost. Biology teaches something can overcome another. Are we going to sit back and just let our whole life be for naught? Mm. Are we going to sit back and let what our ancestors went through be for naught? Mm. Who's going to mm. cry for the brothers and sisters who have been lynched mm. in America? Who's going to speak for them? I will speak. All the faceless men and women who were lynched in the southern states and even in some northern states. Yes. Let's not forget that. Missouri and Illinois were just as prejudiced as Alabama and, and Mississippi. Who's going to speak for them? Who's going to make sure their lives were not in vain if it don't be for us? So... It's, it's, it's not a lot to even go into. We want to encourage. We want to share uh, this understanding so to be clear what our aim and purpose is. But it's for all of us. Yes. This is our time to build what we need for ourselves. Yes. And so, again, February 24th, I mean 21st through the 23rd, we have great, great rates. And you must call the Reality Temples to get the great rate. Uh, bring a friend, bring your girl, bring your man, bring your wife, bring your husband, bring your family. Yes. The more, the merrier. The more uh, you can get down to almost like paying nothing mm. for this whole entire weekend. Bring as many as you can because the more, the merrier. We're going to have everything work out for you. We're going to have everything laid out for you. It's going to be a beautiful time amongst us all because we come together as family, yes. being concerned about one another and making sure now we are really going to cover down. We, we're getting ready to make this move because we must and we shall be successful. Yes. It is our time. Yes, it is. The message is taught in Supreme Wisdom in the near future. Well, that future is here. It's now. It's now. So, February again, February 21st to the 23rd, we're going to have a commemorative to Savior's Day gathering for the heads, for the for the new now forefathers yes. and mothers, so we can come together and get this party started, and we can start moving toward that new heaven and new earth that Messenger Muhammad speaks about, and that our Savior has arrived. Read it. Our Savior has arrived, chapter 23rd. We're not being religious. Mm -hmm. We we don't have time for that. Right. We got to be builders. Mm -hmm. And that has nothing to do with sitting up worshiping anything. Me and my husband know who we are. Messenger Muhammad taught us who is the original man. The original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. So we stand on that. We trust in that. And we're going to move out on that. Always have been, yes. but we always will. So you know, honey, I I don't have anything else to okay. say. You know, it's it's up to, it's up to you. Yes. It's up to you. Meet us in St. Louis. Louis. I want to say this. <clears throat> there is something that Caucasian people say about us, and they say that we cannot do nothing. We cannot survive without them. Within the last 500 years, that has been a true state. And some of y'all say, that's not true. No. But like my wife always say, you have nothing to show and prove. No. Everything that you are, everything, everything that you have gotten has come directly or indirectly from your slave master and their children. Yes, sir. And may I say, yeah. when Nation of Islam... The nation of peace. Let me make that clear. Mm -hmm. Islam, I-S-L-A-M, is just an Arabic word that means peace. And in English, you would say the nation of peace. peace. However, Messenger Muhammad 
want to put another spin on it because as my husband said, he was using the whole protocol of the Nation of Islam as a catalyst to get our people away from Christianity yes. and any other entity. Yes, entity. Okay. So the Nation of Peace for the black man and woman in America, something that had never happened before. Mm. We had everything. We had everything we needed to survive and to exist and to continue. Even I, even the fish that we ate, mm. the Blue Seas whiting fish that we had a contract with that came out of the waters of Argentina was some of the best whiting fish ever. I have not tasted any fish like that. Mm. since the nation has been destroyed. And I say, as any other empire, you read in your history books about Egyptians and African mm. civilizations and empires, even the Romans and English powers that were built and then failed. Yes. Built and failed. We are no different. Mm -hmm. We are people. So we had a civilization and an empire that failed. Mm. Now it was in ruins. Mm. Now what do we do? Do we let it remain in ruins or do we do like other civilizations and build it back up? Mm. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. Mm. So that is what we must be about our father's business and do. Yeah. It is one thing to say, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad this, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad wanted you and I to do something, yes. not just sit up and talk about it. Yes. So here we are. You yes. know, you want to join us? Meet us in, in St. Louis. Louis. <laughs> that's, that's, that's simple as that. Simple as that. And with that said, brothers and, and sisters, uh, for those of us who, of, of those of you of whom have good hearts and would like to participate uh, physically in St. Louis, but can't, but you would like to donate to the cause, uh, all the information will be in the descrip description boxes of, of these videos mm -hmm. on uh, whatever media, YouTube or Facebook, whatever. And I mean, you could even just call us and, and just do, to wish us right. well, right. if you want to. Yeah. That All the information is, is in the description box. And, and when you uh, call the number that we want to leave on the, on this video presentation. Um, we just need to get, you know, get you who you are, what type of room you need. We have, we have small suites, we have large suites, and we have super suites. However, for a single person, again, I must repeat that this whole entire event can cost you no more than $100. Yes. Okay? So no one's trying to take anything from you. No one's trying to force anything from you. This is for you. This is for us. And once we come together, it's going to be, as they say in the world, Ooh. all she wrote. All she wrote. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the end. It's the end. And it, and it has to be. We are 40 years from our forefathers coming amongst us and teaching us this divine wisdom. To get up and do something for Process. himself. And, 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 and his main successor showed and proved. Mm. No one can deny what Elijah Muhammad did. If you misunderstood him, that was your problem. He never said we were religious. He said that the nation of Islam was given to us as a, a religion. religion. If you understand words, then as a religion does not make it that. Mm. Right, absolutely. It was a catalyst. And as we progressed, and I could say we because I was there, mm. it became, we, we didn't even look at it like a religion. It was a way, way of, of life. life. Mm -hmm. That's right. It was a way of life. And it's a way of life that I miss tremendously. I've missed it tremendously. And sometimes I have felt like, can we do it again? Mm. But I trust in my forefathers. And our forefathers are Master Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Sister Clara Muhammad. Mm. Those are our foreparents. And if they did it once, we can do it again. Like, the, like my husband said, out of the womb mm. of that knowledge and wisdom and understanding, yes, we can do it again. Yes, we can. And we shall. And we shall. We shall. Mr. Muhammad made it clear it would come and rise again, never to fall oh. again.
With that said, thank you again for listening. Uh, and uh, all I can say is we want to see you in St. Louis. Meet us in St. Louis. Meet us in St. Louis. Yes, all the information that you need, the telephone numbers, uh, the P.O. box number, everything that you need is in the description box of the video. We need to make a move. We need your participation. If you can't participate now, uh, it's, it's, it's lots of work to do. Mm -hmm. So, so other a lot. Yeah. You know, we need we need your help. Anything that you can do, like I said, pass out a flyer, sharing this video. Don't cost you nothing to share the video. Don't cost you nothing to spread the word. Let us help our people. Let us help ourselves and bring a new reality, something better for the future of our babies and our generations. We were given a foundation, and we're standing on it. And, and Mr. Muhammad is clear about what needs to be done as far as land, forming groups yes. to develop whatever it is that we need for that time. So this, in this time, we can look around and mm -hmm. know what we need. So standing on that protocol and that program, it, I, it's no doubt we will be successful. And we will Just be. trust and believe. We will. we will be successful. So... I say peace and paradise. Respect Meet you. Us